Hey everyone, this is Steve from Commercial Forest Products. Welcome to my secret wood lair. That's right, it's not a garage, it's a wood lair. You know, it's the kind of place where lumber guys hide the good stuff from customers. Every lumber professional has wood in their garage that's usually the coolest stuff in the yard ends up in the garage and then nothing ever gets done with it. Some of the stuff I have in here has been in here for decades. Sure, I may never do something with this wood, but you know who will do something with this wood? The lucky woodworker who happens to be walking by on the day my grandchildren clear out the garage. So this video is for you, lucky woodworker. That is what a wood layer is. And my wife hates it. In the past, we've done videos on Polonia. We've done a couple videos on Polonia. And we've done videos on swamp ash, at least one. Uh, but one thing that we've never done is actually a video that kind of compares swamp ash to Polonia. So why would we want to do a video like this? Well, uh, the reason is basically, I'm often asked what is a good substitute for swamp ash. My answer has always been the same. In my opinion, Polonia is the best swamp ash substitute that's on the market available today. We're gonna to run through a few reasons why that is. There's a few reasons why I consider Polonia to be the best swamp ash substitute. In 2019, uh, this is a very relevant question because for the first time in years, there is a real swamp ash shortage in the market right now. And th that's for a couple reasons. You can head over to our webpage. I've got a whole uh, uh, article on why that is. But it, it, essentially, it's due to weather conditions in the south, which were extremely wet. Um, and the other thing is the, there were a couple of hurricanes that impacted, basically uh, flooded the area. And because the swamp ash comes from a certain region in the south, uh, basically, when it's too wet, no logging can take place. Basically, the more wet weather conditions that the South gets, uh, the, the less time that loggers can spend uh, in the areas that need to be in order to get swamp ash. So uh, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that not, there won't be much swamp ash in the market if they're not doing a lot of swamp ash production. And that's where we're at in 2019. That's the year it's been basically since probably February. Um, it's been really tight. It probably will normalize in 2020, but it's been a rough year for swamp ash availability. So we're getting asked the question a lot, what is a good substitute for swamp ash? My answer is always the same. Polonia is a great substitute for swamp ash. There's a couple reasons why. Reason number one, it's the weight. The weight of Polonia is really light. If you've never picked up a piece, it's, it's, it's almost weird light. Um, it's lighter than this, the, light, the lightest swamp ash that you can probably buy on the market anywhere. Um, and it's not hard to find boards that are that light pretty consistently light and weight is an increasing increasingly important spec for various reasons um, one the there's a lot of older gigging musicians and to be on stage for hours at a time um, it's much more comfortable to hold a lighter weight instrument um, the other reason I've heard too is you know it kind of sets a lightweight instrument um, in terms of at least electric guitars it really sets you apart so picture yourself uh, someone in guitar center they're trying out guitars and they grab a bunch of different guitars. Let's say they grab five, they start playing them. Um, you know, the first few are, you know, weigh 10 pounds, nine pounds, and then all of a sudden they grab a seven pound instrument. That gets their attention and they're looking at the seven pound instrument. And it may be a psychological uh, effect, but the reality is that seven pound instrument feels better. Right? It's easier to lift up. It feels different than the rest and it's attention getting. So that may be like a psychological thing um, or a marketing thing. I've heard several builders make that observation, and that's uh, one of the major reasons why a lot of them have weight limitations on the instruments that they produce. So right now I'm gonna cut to a B-roll. See how professional I am? I call it B-roll. A B-roll of that we did in the yard a couple days ago. Uh, we glued up about 100 two-piece body blanks out of Polonia. I pulled out three random blanks off the top of the unit, um, and just pulled it straight through the uh, stretch wrap and put it on a scale in front of you. And just for reference, each one of those blanks is about 3.7 board feet. Um, and then I put them on the scale so you can see how much they weigh for yourself. Now, let's cut to B-roll.
you'll see that easily the uh, polonia weighs a good probably half, 50% of what a normal alder or swamp ash blank would weigh. Now, I, the other reason that I think polonia is a great substitute for swamp ash is the appearance of it. Pretty much polonia is the only lightweight wood that I know of that actually has a grain, and fortunately that grain happens to look a lot like swamp ash. So I know I've shown pieces of polonia and empress wood in our videos before, and I've so shown swamp ash in our videos before, but I don't think I've ever shown a piece of swamp ash uh, next to a piece of polonia, so you can see them side by side, and then you can make a call if you're able to see if they really look alike. Spoiler alert, I think they do. Okay, so now perhaps for the first time ever on YouTube, you are looking at one blank of polonia and one blank of swamp ash together in the same frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and claim that I'm the first one um, in the history of the internet to do that. I don't know that that's the case, but I would like it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and claim that, thank you. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move the scale, get it out of the way so you can see. So which one is swamp ash and which one is polonia? So, okay, it's not too difficult to tell. The swamp ash is on the right. Um, basically, the grain is a little more pronounced marginally, and the sapwood is a little brighter, uh, but the similarities are, are pretty uncanny as far as I'm concerned. Um, now, you might be wondering why I have one blank is, the polonia blank is a little larger than the swamp ash blank, and you may be wondering why that's the case. Um, it's because I'm lazy and I just grabbed the first swamp ash blank I could find, and it wasn't the same size as the polonia. But from my point of this illustration, it actually helps. Basically, the swamp ash is an inch shorter, maybe a half inch narrower than the polonia. I'm going to go ahead and weigh both of them right now so you can see what they weigh. And I know the polonia on the left here, it is 3.7 pound, I'm sorry, 3.7 board feet in this blank. So let's go ahead and put it on the scale. Alrighty, Polonia Blank is on and it weighs four pounds, nine ounces. I don't know if you can read that, but that's what it says. Let's see, four pounds, nine ounces. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the Swamp Ash. Remember this Swamp Ash Blank is a little bit smaller. It's probably about 3.5 board feet in this blank. And it's a good weight. It's seven pounds, 8.9 ounces. You can see for yourself, and that is a pretty good uh, weight for a swamp ash blank. But as you can see, the Polonia Empress Wood is almost half the weight. And like I said, the swamp ash is not heavy by any stretch of the imagination. So that kind of puts in perspective the weight and density of Polonia. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, go to one of my other videos and like those too. And then get another YouTube account and subscribe again. Thank you. Please like this video if you enjoyed what we had to say and want to keep more information coming. Um, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Um, and if you have already subscribed, uh, go ahead and open up another YouTube account and subscribe with that one as well. That would be appreciated. Then you can go through all my videos and like each and every one of them, even if you haven't watched them. But that would be cool. So thank you. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. From the wood layer. From the wood layer. Right now we're gonna to cut to some B-roll. That's right, I said it, B-roll. That's how pro I am. We have B-roll for you. That's how pro I am. We have B-roll ready for you.